Good morning, good afternoon, good evening and good night depending on what time you are watching this next episode of my Pokemon Go series and today I've got an amazing thing for you. I'm going to teach you how to level up at the speed of light. I kid you not, if I'd have known this 20 levels ago I'd be level 35 by now. It's absolutely crazy. I'm so excited about sharing this little obvious secret with you. But we're going to do that after we've walked through this really, really gorgeous park because there are loads of Pokestops around here and we're going to grab some serious goodies out of this Pokestop. Really awesome Pokemon, I hope, inside as well. And I'm looking forward, after all of this, to show you how to do that speed of light leveling up. It's XP-tastic. Let's just crack on with it. So excited, let's go. So as you can see from the map here, this is Pokestop heaven. It's absolutely brilliant. We are properly gonna slam into some of these Pokestops. I'm literally gonna get a few thousand XP out of these Pokestops on their own, irrelevant of any extra Pokemon that we're going to catch today. It's amazing. What a great park. I'm really looking forward to slapping through this super fast so as we can get to that really exciting how to level up quick afterwards. Let's get on with it now. So could we be looking for bee drills here? That is the one Pokemon I never want to run into in real life, but that could be a bee drill house. I'm going to walk past it very carefully. Not a fan of bee drills at all. So as you can see, we have already walked across a right old bit of this path now and we're going to have a little look inside this mystic gym because maybe I can get enough extra XP into this gym to be able to land a Pokemon in there myself. Let's have a look what they've got. So inside we've got a really little Venomoth. We've got a, an all right Flareon. We've got a Venusaur, which scared me, and a Snorlax, which are monsters. And... Um, and it keeps going for another Snorlax and then a big old Vaporeon at the top which I'm assuming has got a decent IV or why would it be there? So I think we should have a go at this you know. I think well we can certainly take out the Venomoth and maybe we can take out the Flareon if we're going to use our kind of water type Pokemon because they hate water moves. So let's have a little go. So this is saying we should be using our Aerodactyl to attack because it's brought that up as a suggestion. So let's have a go. Let's do the Aerodactyl and see how far we can get with it. So we're just going to spam like mad. Let's get ourselves in, go. This Venomoth seriously should not have any chance whatsoever against the Aerodactyl. It should absolutely muller it. We're going to use that. In fact, you know what? I'm not even going to bother using the special move. I'm going to save that for when the Flareon comes out next. So, right, so Flareon straight away. Let's use the special move. And of course, I forgot, it's a fire move, isn't it? Which is not going to be very effective against a Flareon. So let's try again. No, this is not going to work for a, a Flareon at all. We're going to need to get our water type Pokemon in here first to be able to take out the Flareon. But we're going to put a little bit of XP into the gym, and we're dead. So we're going to put a little bit of XP into that gym, which is great, obviously. But we're going to need to do a lot more than that. So let's smash this through. So it's now suggested me use a Vaporeon, which is going to be great against the Flareon. So let's do this now. Now, as we know, my Vaporeon is absolute trash. It is no good whatsoever. It's only got an IV of 39, so it's not particularly effective. But it should munch through the Venomoth without too much issue whatsoever. And then the Flareon should really take some proper damage from it. So we're not going to use the special move now, because that would be a real waste. Let's wait for the Flareon to come out. But one thing we've got to make sure we do is we've got to make sure we do not let that Flareon get anywhere near us with its special move. We've got to dodge it. So we should be able to take this Flareon out without too much trouble. Special move is all over the Flareon. Let's keep going. We've only lost half health. We've taken out two of them. Let's go again against now. I don't know what I'm going to be like against the Venusaur. I suspect not very good whatsoever. So we've got to really just keep bashing. I think we're going to get nowhere near it. But it was worth a go. It was worth a go. Let's get out of here and save ourselves a revive. So we took out two, but we did put in about 600. So we're going to keep cracking on with that. Let's carry on. Let's revive our Aerodactyl because we can. And let's use a Hyper Potion on these two to get them back. And we're going to go straight back in there and have another go. So I really want to put something in. And we are going to, you know, we're not going to use that. We are going to use our Vaporeon because it was more effective. So let's keep going. Right, so we're going to bottle it straight out from Venusaur because we know we're not going to win. The IV of my Vaporeon is just not good enough. It's just not strong enough to be able to take on that kind of Pokemon. But by my calculations, I reckon one more 
and we are going to be there. So let us give it another go with our Vaporeon. We don't want to use Aerodactyl, we want to use Vaporeon, and let's go. So this should be good enough for us to put a Pokemon of a reasonably high level into this guy. So let's take out the Venom off nicely. This is kind of the warm-up. This is our appetizer. This is my starter. This is my prawn cocktail before the main course. We are taking him out nicely and let's keep bashing. Take out the flare on again. Bang, bang, bang. And let's use a special move. You should be well out there. Let's keep going. We are going to take this one now. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. This is the one that's going to be able to put us... And we're going to put the Vaporeon in simply because it's got the highest CP. Because it's got the highest CP what that means is I'll be able to stay in this gym for longer. They'll need to defeat it more times in order to be able to knock me out because my um, Pokemon is higher level than theirs. So that should take it over. Yes, it has. That's lovely. I'm just going to heal up my Vaporeon. Stick that in. So we're in the gym. We're going to stick in our Vaporeon. It is going to stay there beautifully. And now we should have... Where are we? So we have snuck in above that venom off so we're not the first one to lose that's great very happy with that it's a shame we're not higher than that flare on that would have been much better so we're going to take out a few more of these pokestops before we go back to pokemon base and there i'm going to show you how we are going to accelerate your growth through the levels like you have never known they're going to fly let's do this now i know i said we were of K eggs in this episode but they're not quite ready and I really wanted to do an episode in this park when I drove past it and I saw there were so many Pokestops I thought you know what I've got to do the episode now I've got to show you how to do these evolutions now I can't wait for the extra couple of kilometers that I need on those 5k eggs so we're doing this episode now those 5k eggs are going to be beautifully incubated by the next time we come to do another episode of Pokemon Go so that is definitely going to be with us then I'm really looking forward to bringing it to you but walking through this park it's just too good to miss all these Pokestops. And here's another one. We're just bagging them out. I think I've done about 20. It's absolutely crazy. One after the other from someone that actually lives near maybe two Pokestops. I don't live in London. I don't live in a big city. These Pokestops do not exist in this kind of concentration near where I live. So this is just amazing. I'm very excited at walking through these blue spinny posts. So we have been walking through this park and I kid you not, we must have done about 40 Pokestops. And of those, a number of the legendary Pokestops that we talked about in my previous video. If you've not seen that, go and have a look. Um, it's in this playlist. You'll be more than welcome to leave a comment on that one as well. And frankly, I think I'm all Pokestopped out. I don't think I can do any more. I'll just do the ones that I walk past. The occurrence of Pokemon, however, in this park is really disappointing. So if you want to go Pokestop crazy, this is the place to come. If you want to catch some Pokemon, I've got to be honest, this is not where you want to come. So I'm going to head back to Pokemon base now and we're going to crack on to show you how can we accelerate that growth. Make sure you get loads of levels out of this and it's so obvious. I can't believe I didn't see it. So let's go back to Pokemon base now. Really excited to show you. Let's do it. So we are back at Pokemon base now and it is time for me to reveal this method of absolutely light speeding your progress and frankly I know some of you are already going to know this and you're going to be saying Avo what are you telling me this for? This is something I've known for ages. Well good for you if you do because that means you must be absolutely flying with your levelling up. I didn't know this until literally the other day and I don't know why because I'm basically mad because this is so obvious that you can do this and actually throw your level up through the roof now here it is are you ready we all wander around and wonder why we are never more than 10 meters from a rat right there are so many rats everywhere ratatas and also pidgeys and also weedles we are never more than 10 meters from a rat a pigeon and a worm well, this is a good thing. Collect them all, even when you're sick to death of seeing these pidgeys, these rats, and these worms, because they are the secret of your progress. So, first thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a lucky egg if you have one. You want a lucky egg up because that will double the impact of this method. Right, so let's get a lucky egg on, and I'll be back with you in a sec. Okay, our lucky egg is nicely roasting away there. Yum, yum, yum. That was delicious. Right, now we have to crack straight on. Now, it's really, really simple. What we're going to do is we are just going to work on Weedles and Pidgeys and Rattatas. Nothing more than that. Weedles, Pidgeys and Rattatas. Absolutely brilliant. Before I say anything, look, Bulbasaur, 97 IV. Liking that one very much. Thank you. Very, very nice little capture that was. Right, anyway, moving on. We're going to go through 
our Pokédex here. And we're going to basically, it doesn't matter about IV with this, because this is purely a method to get your level up. It is nothing to do with developing a high IV Pokémon, because you're probably going to trade them in later anyway. Don't trade your things in for your, your um, candies. Level them up first. Really simple. Evolve these things hard and fast and get yourself to another level. So we are now going to level up seven Weedles, 11 Pidgeys, six Rattatas, and I'm going to throw in a random Spearow just for good luck. Right, so we're going to do this at speed and we're going to see how much experience this actually gives us. Ready? Let's go! So there we have it, we are 25 evolutions in, and let's see what that relatively small number of evolutions, because I mean, you can easily get 25, 30, 35, 40 evolutions doing this method, because you gather your candy by catching these Pokemon, and they're everywhere. I mean, you've seen my previous episode, blooming Pidgeys, blooming Rats all over the place, Weedles too. And then you trade in the Kakuna, or the Pidgeotto, or the Raticate, and you get your candy for that. Plus you get one of the candies back when you evolve. So each evolution is effectively worth two candies rather than just one if you trade it in before you evolve it. It makes sense to do it. You're getting more candy anyway. Just crack on with it. You know it makes sense. Right, let's see how much experience that actually gave us. We've leveled up to level 22 and we were virtually on um, pretty much 400 XP away from the level. So it's actually given us something like 26, not something like, but exactly 26,000 XP. I must have done an extra Pidgey by mistake. So 26,000 XP for what was 10, 15 minutes of work. And I've caught 200 bug type Pokemon as well, just for the lulls. Yeah, that took us 10 minutes. 10 minutes for 26,000 XP. That is just amazing. And I've got 15 minutes worth of egg. And I might go and have a bit of a walk, see who I can catch and what Pokestops I can trip over, because frankly, let's not waste it. That is secret. It's brilliant. Let's level up like nutcases together. We're all going to get to level 40. Obviously, the higher your level, the higher the chance your CP being high when you catch a Pokemon. So you get to level 30 and it doesn't get any more, like the chance doesn't get any better. But get yourself to level 30, improve your chances of getting really great CP and therefore really great IV potentially Pokemon. And we can take over these gyms for Team Mystic, because obviously you're Team Mystic, right? Team Mystic, yeah, you're Team Mystic, you know you want to be Team Mystic. Unless, of course, you're red or yellow. All colours are equal in the eyes of Avo as long as you're Mystic. But we can really fly with this game. Looking forward to seeing your comments down below. Make sure you hit like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Share it on your favourite social media. And I shall see you in the next video where we are going to do 9-5-K eggs. All in one go. Really, really looking forward to it. I'll see you there. Take it easy now. Bye.